The doctor landed on the Pollyanna, the first of the Ninth Era sunships, which had been on an expedition to circumnavigate the sun. Because the temperature was kept cold in spite of the doctor telling Clara he was taking her somewhere warm, Clara went back inside the TARDIS to change in warmer clothing, while the doctor ran off without her. Clara met the boss of the expedition, the egotistical, handsome quadrillionaire, Rudy Zoom, and was shown the Pollyanna's flight deck. When the Umbra, a group of psychic predators, who fed off self-loathing, began attacking the Pollyanna, Clara used the TARDIS to translate a looped signal Sandy Tanaka had been trying to decode. The signal was a message recorded by an alien scientist whom had created the Umbra. He said that originally, the Umbra had been a psychic fabric fashioned into a cloak which drained guilt. However, the Umbra gained intelligence and devoured his people's spirits. The scientist as a last-ditch effort tried burning them in the sun, but they survived, trapped inside the sun's chromosphere. The Umbra began swarming the Pollyanna, anchoring the ship to the sun to try and hijack it and use it as a way of reaching Earth. As the rest of the crew on the flight deck headed to auxiliary control, Clara destroyed the navigation system, stopping the Umbra from finding Earth. After the crew was surrounded, Clara realized that Rudy was too much a narcissist to have any self-loathing in his mind for the Umbra to feed on, and sent him to speak to the Umbra. As a result, the inside of Rudy's mind was, like poison, to the Umbra and the Umbra on board were destroyed while trying to feed on his mind. Meanwhile, the doctor had used the graviton inverter on the Pollyanna to destroy the Umbra which had swarmed on the ship's hull by freezing them to death. While attempting to return Clara home, the doctor accidentally took the TARDIS to Bristol, and the pair discovered that the TARDIS exterior had reduced in size. Staying behind in the TARDIS to investigate the effect, the doctor sent Clara to look around and find the cause. Clara met Riggsy and his community service crew and learned that people had been disappearing in the area, with murals of them appearing on the walls of a pedestrian tunnel. On returning Clara discovered that the TARDIS had shrunk further, preventing the doctor from getting out. However, the doorway was still large enough for him to pass Clara his sonic screwdriver, his psychic paper and a nanotechnological device that allowed him to communicate with Clara and see through her eyes. Putting the small TARDIS in her handbag, Clara set off to find the source of the dimensional leeching. Clara once again met Riggsy, and they investigated the disappearances. The doctor realized that they were dealing with beings from a two-dimensional universe, who were sucking people into flat surfaces. As the two-dimensional entities were advancing on Clara and Riggsy, Clara received a call from Danny and, telling him that she was busy helping a community worker find his missing aunt, quickly hung up. Clara and Riggsy escaped the danger and, when the doctor realized that the murals were actually the creatures taking forms of their victims, Clara and the rest of the community service crew at the tunnel hid in a nearby engine repair warehouse. While the group was confused and disorientated, Clara became the leader and attempted to bring them to safety. As the creatures had gradually picked off the community service workers, Clara, Fenton and Riggsy became the only survivors. The doctor claimed that he had discovered a way to send the creatures back to their dimension but didn't have enough power to do so. In the chaos, the TARDIS was dropped down a shaft onto a railway. Fleeing from the creatures, Clara found the TARDIS in siege mode on the tracks and devised a plan to restore its power. She asked Riggsy to paint a fake door with a flattened handle and placed the TARDIS behind it. Attempting to deflatten the fake handle so that they could open the door, the creatures unknowingly pumped dimensional energy into the TARDIS, restoring it to its proper size and full power. The doctor emerged from the TARDIS and, taking his sonic screwdriver back from Clara, sent them back to their dimension. When the threat was over, the doctor took the survivors to the surface. The doctor tried taking Clara to the Frost Fair in 1641, but instead, was drawn off course and landed in the Sahara Desert in 1941, where they were captured by Nazis. After the doctor spoke to their field marshal, Erwin Rommel, and learned of Germany's Tuareg allies making friends with men from the stars, Clara stayed behind at the base because of the Tuareg's hostility towards women. Eventually, though, after the Rutan spy Heinz Bruckner framed the doctor and Clara as spies, Clara was taken prisoner and joined Bruckner, ostensibly in a mission to find the doctor and field marshal Rommel. Instead, Bruckner drove to the site of the Santaran world engine weapon, the Warsong using the chronal energy inside Clara to pinpoint the location of the Warsong so he could claim it for the Rutans. 
The doctor and Ramo broke through the defenses of the Warsong, but Bruckner held Clara hostage. The doctor stopped Bruckner from conducting the millennia-old preset programming of the Warsong by using a Santaran Osmic projector to send Bruckner's trigger mechanism through time, and Clara broke free. Rommel threw Bruckner into the Warsong, killing him, while the doctor destroyed the orchestra of the Warsong by using his sonic screwdriver to blow it up. Afterwards, he brought Clara to the Frost Fair. Clara and Danny chaperoned a school trip to a museum, and upon leaving, discovered a forest had grown all over the world. One of the students, Mabe Arden, was missing. Clara, Danny and the students met up with the doctor at Trafalgar Square, and she and the doctor set off to find Mabe. Following a trail that Mabe left, they caught up to her but were trapped by a tiger. Danny saved them. Mabe claimed to have been behind the forest, and the solar flare headed for Earth that had come to her in the thoughts Mabe found after her sister Annabelle went missing. Believing there was no hope for humanity, Clara convinced the doctor to leave her and Earth behind. The doctor began to leave but realized the trees were protecting Earth, rather than destroying it with the solar flare. With the doctor's help, Mabe sent out a message to humanity urging them to leave the trees alone. The doctor and Clara then watched as Earth was shielded from the solar flare by the trees. Back at her flat, the doctor stated to Clara that humanity would forget the incident. When the doctor took Clara to Las Vegas in 1963, he quickly won her a fortune only to be escorted away by enforcers of the casino's owner. Left to her own devices, Clara quickly won the affections of the wolf pack who promised to help her find the doctor before the Cybok Imperium invaded. Imprisoned with the artists at the Cosmos Casino, Clara managed to extort information from the conquerors, distracting them long enough for the doctor to arrive. The doctor eventually managed to convince the Cybok to play a game of Rassilon's roulette with the time gun of Rassilon, resulting in the Cybok wiping themselves from history, the doctor revealing that the gun couldn't fire on Gallifreyan DNA. Afterwards, Clara attended a show by the Wolf Pack, being mortified to discover that they considered the doctor her sugar daddy. Next materializing in Derbyshire in 1845, though aiming for Margate, the doctor and Clara were brought to North Lees Hall where they freed the residents from the thrall of an aeronox, which burnt to death along with the castle. As the residents all left, Clara was delighted to learn that they'd given Charlotte Bronte the inspiration for Jane Eyre.